Hi guys, it's your boy the Supreme Leader. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and also click the bell button after subscription and share the channel. I'm back with you guys again. And today I am simply going to talk a little bit about what I think about Brazil when it comes to uh, differentiating between the poor and also the rich. You can, only follow, you can always follow me on Instagram from Africa to South America and like I said, I will always go through the comment section and then see the kind of, uh, uh, what do you call it? The kind of content you have, uh, sorry, the kind of comments you guys leave right under my video so that I, I can also read them if there is a question for me to answer, for me to answer to as well. So today, I went through the comment section, I didn't see any uh, relevant question that I have to answer, but rather I saw people who wanted my assistance for, uh, what do you call it, for travel purposes and stuff like that, and I said I don't do these kind of things anymore because it's very stressing, very tiring, so please and please and please again, I don't do these kind of things, and um, yeah, I'm only here to you know, tell you a bit about Brazil and also show you interesting things about Brazil should in case you have some plans, you want to relocate to Brazil, know Brazil, stay here in Brazil, do more in Brazil is the reason why I am here today. So today in this content, let's talk a little bit about what I think as a foreigner living here in Brazil. Is it so simple and easy to identify who is poor and who is rich here in Brazil. For me, the answer is no. Yes, my, I'm not, I don't mean yes, I mean no. If for you to come to Brazil and think that it's very simple and easy for you to differentiate who is poor and, and uh, what do you call it, and rich, it's not that simple or easy unless maybe uh, it comes to visiting people individual houses or maybe uh, uh, you start talking to people then that is when you start getting to know okay this person is poor and this person is rich and this person you understand unless when it comes to material things like only material things that is when you start getting to know if some particular person is rich or not not rich the reason why i say this is where i come from i come from ghana in the west of africa okay and in ghana in the west of africa <laughs> it is so so easy and simple for you to differentiate be between the rich and the poor like when you get to ghana boom you see the differences the very moment you even arrive at the airport you start even seeing the difference between the rich and the poor when you 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 you, you visit my country of origin which is ghana you understand what i'm saying but okay let's talk about brazil here in Brazil, it's very difficult to tell. Even should in case like you are the kind of person who it's, uh, is very smart in judging these kind of things, it's not easy for you to simply identify who is very poor and who is very rich. Unless when it comes to, you know, like I said, showing your cars and house and bank accounts and stuff like that, that is when you start getting to know that oh okay this person is poor this person is rich and okay this person is a bit of a, a, a let me just say a, a working class and stuff like that that is when you started comparing things like cars and you know like all these kind of things that is when you begin to know the differences between uh, people who are simply, uh, what do you call it, uh, who are simply rich and also poor. Guys, guys, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to prepare porridge, okay, I'm preparing porridge, so that is why I have to uh, 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 bring my camera here 
and then continue with the porridge. Porridge is one of our popular, uh, 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 let me just say, food we eat like morning breakfast in Ghana. Okay, I'll show you how it looks like maybe afterwards. And uh, yeah, that is what I prepare. Normally, I use it to break my fast. I like to drink it in Ghana. We call it cocoa. You understand? We call it cocoa. So uh, that is what I am simply preparing now to break my fast with it. So it's the reason why I brought the camera here and then to continue talking to you guys. Yeah, so guys, um, like I was saying, here is very difficult to, to, to differentiate, to be frank with you. The reason why it's difficult to differentiate is where I come from, rich people and poor people normally have where they normally go to eat and also normally where they go to for shopping and also maybe it's a, a grocery shopping too as well or buying groceries too as well or like let me just say basically in my country rich people they have places they go to eat and also they have places they go for shopping like monthly shopping grocery shopping and stuff like that and apart from that uh, rich people have places where they simply spend time to as well in my country where i come from ghana in the west of africa to be specific all right uh, here in brazil the reason why i'm saying it's very difficult for you to know who is rich and who is poor is where the rich people eat that is where the poor people to eat you understand what i'm saying and where the rich people go for shopping that is where the poor people to do what go for shopping so in this case when you come across like you come here in the in the beginning for you to know who is poor and who is rich is quite challenging. Yeah, it's very, very challenging to know because you see the, the poor man looking so nice, smelling good, eating good, you understand? Using a very, you know, like good electronic gadgets and stuff like that. And the, the rich man too is doing the same thing. So basically, it becomes a big confusion for you to know who is poor and who is rich when you come to Brazil in this aspect. But the aspect that you will use to know who is rich and poor is when it comes to the bank account and also maybe the, 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 the things they own, properties and stuff like that. That is when you start to know the differences between them. But when on a regular basis, working on the street, you know, like eating in a, in, a, in a restaurant, spending time, going out. When you come to Brazil, they do the same thing. Rich and the poor people, they go to the same place too for grocery shopping. They, 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 they go to um, the same place to, to have fun. If it is, a, it, it is a huge picnic park, there is both people over there, both, uh, uh, what do you call it? Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, both people over there, the rich and the poor, they all come together, they spend time. And also, another thing is, when you come here, even poor people have cars. You know, like in my country, another big, uh, another quick thing to use to, 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 to differentiate between the poor and the rich is owning a car. You understand? In my country, it's very simple. When somebody owns a car, then it means, um, you know, basically the person is doing well. You understand what I'm saying? But here, even the poor man who is not doing well can simply own a car. So it's like you go out to a picnic or a, a restaurant or a place where they chill, you still see what you call it. You, you still see the rich people and the poor people together. Like you see the rich people parking their cars, the poor people too parking their cars. Because it's very difficult to differentiate because there are 
uh, poor people who use expensive cars and there are rich people too who use expensive cars there are poor people who use cheap cars and there are rich people too who use cheap cars you understand what i'm saying so let me say, say basically when you come to here uh, what the rich people do the poor people too can simply do the same thing so uh, this particular lifestyle here it amazes me so 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 much that when uh, whenever i think about Brazil, I feel so much comfortable and confident that it is one of the, you know, like, greatest places to, to live in the world. You understand? It's one of the best countries around the globe or around the world. You understand what I'm saying? Because basically what I'm trying to say is when you come here, whatever the rich man does, the poor man does the same thing too as well. You understand? The food the rich man is going to eat, the poor man will eat the same thing. The drink the poor man will drink, the same thing the poor man will also drink. Uh, the, the rich man will drink, the poor man will drink the same thing. And uh, apart from that, when you go to, uh, you visit houses or let me just say, yeah, homes too as well. Let me just say this. The thing that you will go and then see in the rich man's house, that's what you come to the poor man's house to you see the same thing. But the thing is, maybe when you go to the poor man's house, the fridge in the poor man's house is a bit luxury uh, 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 fridge. You understand? But when you come to the poor man's house, to it's the same thing. The poor man also has the luxury, you know, like they also have uh, fridges and stuff like that. You understand? So, guys, my porridge. I have to, I have to pay attention to my porridge. I have to, it's very important <laughs> for me to pay attention to my porridge because uh, it's porridge, guys. I don't, I don't joke with my porridge. I, when I was in Ghana. I love porridge so much, you understand? So when I came here, I didn't know how to cook. So I had to learn everything all over again. So now I know how to cook, how, how to prepare a porridge. So I prefer drinking the porridge even more than tea because I don't like coffee. All right, so let me just say this. Uh, not to make a long video, what I'm trying to insinuate out here is when you go to the poor man's house, there is TV, fridge, sofa, uh, uh, whatever you find in the rich man's house. When you come to a poor man's house, in Brazil here, you see it. It's normal. And also, uh, like I said, where the poor man eats, that's where the rich man eats. Where the rich man eats, that's where the poor man eats. Where the poor man go for grocery shopping is the same place. The, 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 the rich goes, the rich to go, where the rich man goes for sh uh, grocery shopping is the same place the poor man go for shopping to as well. So uh, it's basically this. I have a lot to say, but I don't want to do any long video. Don't forget, it's a brother supreme leader. Subscribe to this channel, share the channel. Let's also click the bell button after subscription. Follow me on Instagram from Africa to South America. And uh, I'll see you guys in my next vlog. Till then, boom.